Some parts of this world are sinister, so dark, so disturbing. They should never be explored. This is the sinister side of nature. The life and times of the common cuckoo. It's a roller coaster of deceit, deception, and betrayal, and probably all stems from the parasitic lifestyle they choose to live. Chalk it up to laziness or ingenuity, I don't know. But the responsibility of raising offspring is passed to others, as they insert one of their own eggs into the nest of various host species. I just wish they had the good decency of making it known. But no, their egg mimics the host, so good luck picking them out. And while manipulating another poor sap to raise your young is pretty messed up, let's be honest, it could be worse. Enter Exhibit A, this reed warbler's nest where it appears the young cuckoo was first to hatch. Oh gee, what a blessing. Or did I forget, there is a sinister brewing inside. That special kind so deep-rooted its presence can be felt even before the hatchling's very first breath. So like any good sociopath in training, it methodically works to rid all the potential competition from the nest. You can imagine how difficult this is for such an underdeveloped baby bird but with the perfect technique, manages to heave each egg up and over the lip. And I know that's not the way to treat your adopted brothers and sisters, so this may be a bit of a stretch, but I'm guessing the cuckoo has zero interest in the host's future reproduction, and instead is only concerned with passing on its own bloodline. The had selfish son of a bitch. In keeping with the same train of thought, this is what happens when any of those rival eggs do end up hatching. My goodness, good afternoon to you too. That's some cold-blooded Sparta madness right there. In all fairness though, it ends up securing our little Highlander here 100% access to all the incoming treats and goodies. Here little buddy, eat this. And if only the foster care chose not to sit idly by while all this mayhem unfolded, maybe, just maybe we could have avoided a total meltdown. Well, now they get to raise a little devil child to independence, which means it's gonna get big. Like, really big. <laughs>